Hi guys! Today I wanted to show you how easy it is to make an alternating pattern paper traveller's notebook insert, um, much in the same style as the Studio Calico inserts that they have at the moment. I am using the leftover scrapbook kit from September, I think it is, from Citrus Twist. And I'm just going to go through all the papers that I've got left. I know some of these ones here are going to be too small, but I've got quite a few sheets of almost whole or whole pattern paper that I am going to use. So this one I really love, but first I need to make sure that it's going to be the right height for a traveler's notebook insert. And the easiest way to do that is to grab an A4 piece of paper and just make sure that it's the right height. And it is so now I can just go through the rest of these now the most important thing when using pattern paper like this for a traveler's notebook is to make sure that you like both of the patterns on the paper because you are going to see and have to use both sides of it so you can see here I'm ending up with a pink and teal theme shocking I know and um, I'm also going to use that foil vellum because it's gorgeous and otherwise I will hoard it I know and that's about it as far as the scrapbook kit goes for papers that I love both sides of but I don't think that's enough for my insert so I went and grabbed the um, add-on paper kit as well and I'm gonna see whether there's any in here that I like both and I really like this stripe I'm not super fond of the navy blue um, pattern on that side but I'm pretty sure I can work that into a cover so the next thing you need to do is grab some white card. Now there is white card in the kit, but it's a little bit too thick. So I just use 160 GSM card paper. It's like a thick paper, a thin card. I just want something that I'm gonna be able to stamp on, but not go through to the other side. Plus I don't want my notebook to be super thick. So the next thing we are gonna do is trim down all of these pattern papers so that they are 110 millimeters high or eight and a quarter inches. I am just using my A4 paper as a guide on my paper trimmer because it doesn't have a particularly accurate ruler on there. And of course, if you aren't using A4, if you're using um, US letter size paper, then you will need to trim that just a little bit so it's eight and a quarter inches high as well. Now that we've got everything trimmed to the right height, I'm gonna go ahead and fold them all, not in half, because I'm gonna be um, a little bit cheaty and try and make sure I get some decent sized scraps out of this. So I am just folding them about two thirds of the way across. What I'm doing is using my ruler to make sure I'm getting more than 11 centimeters or more than um, four and a quarter inches out of the papers that I want a decent sized scrap out of. So um, otherwise, if you don't care about scraps, then just go ahead and fold them in half. And also I'm going to fold those um, white papers as well. So those ones I'm not concerned about, so I am just folding them in half. And once you've got them all folded up, you can go ahead and assemble them into the order that you want your um, notebook to be in. So I'm just going to go through and refold some of them. I want this navy blue on the cover, and then I'm gonna open that up and the next page is going to be white and then I'm going to add a pattern paper and then a white paper and so on and so forth. So you are alternating your pattern papers with white papers. The exception to my rule there is that I'm going to put a piece of vellum in there as well. And it's up to you to decide whether you want your the middle of your book to be pattern paper or white. I'm leaving mine with pattern. If you want white, just go ahead and add another sheet of white in there as well. Now, of course, you can make your notebook as big as you want, as thick as you want, as many pages as you want. This is the size I'm working with, but feel free to add as many more pages as you'd like. Now, the trick to this tutorial is that you do not need a long arm stapler. And if you've seen my previous tutorial, then you'll know what I'm talking about. And if you haven't, I will link it up here for you. I am just using my regular stapler, but not the stapler, just the staples. So I am just punching out a few staples. Be careful not to staple your hand, of course. Mine is particularly weak, so it's not a problem. And then I am going to get some sort of punching mat that you don't mind punching into. You can use a mouse pad or a towel, anything like that. 
and then I am going to use some clips to clip all of my pages together. Now you want to be careful that you're making sure that the that folded center of all of the pages is exactly on top of each other. If you um, staple them together with the centers not quite matching, the fold won't be perfect when you open the book. Now once you've got that all clipped together, I am just going to use um, a drawing pin and I'm going to line up my staple against the edge of the center and I'm going to punch two holes straight directly down along the edges of the staple so that I get my measurement for the staple exactly correct. And then all you have to do is thread that staple through those two holes that you've poked, flip the insert over and then Feel free to use a bone folder or a ruler or anything like that. I'm just using my nails because I was too lazy to get anything else out. <laughs> uh, fold those staples over and then repeat the same process on the other side of the insert. If you feel like it, you can add a third staple to the center of the insert too. Once you've got all your staples in place, simply take off the clips and fold that insert flat. Now to trim your notebook down to the correct width, you can use a knife um, and a cutting mat. I'm just going to use my paper trimmer. I'm going to measure out 110 millimeters or four and a quarter inches. And then I'm just going to um, run my blade of my paper trimmer over that a few times, just removing the papers that have been cut as I go. It does take a little bit of force and a little bit of time, but it's the easiest way for me to do it. That will depend on what sort of paper trimmer that you are using. I can set aside those larger scraps for another project and I'm gonna use these thinner ones to decorate the cover. And so now you can see we have a beautiful um, alternating pattern paper insert to use. Now the great thing with these inserts is that they're so quick to put pages together. You can see here I'm showing you a few examples. I sat down with this insert for maybe an hour and created four different pages. Each page is pretty much just a photo, some stickers or stamps, um, and just a tiny bit of embellishment. Let me know down below what you think of these alternating pattern paper inserts because I had so much fun putting this together and then creating the pages in there. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want to keep watching, there's a couple more videos on screen. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Bye.